So in the series of learning programming in C, we are discussing some programs on metrics. So in this video, I'll talk about a program. In, the, in that program, we will add two metrics and we'll print the sum. Now, see what I want. Let me take a metric. Suppose this is two into three metrics. One, two, three, one, zero, one. Second metric is also two into three. One, 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 one. Now I want to add these metrics, and the result would be what? One plus one, two. Two plus one, three. Three plus one, this three plus one, four. One plus one, two. Then one, and then two. And this is also of two into three. This I want. I want to print this thing. First, we need to take care of this thing. Like, like you want to add two matrices, two metrics. Then the dimension should be same. If this is two into three, that should be two into three. It's not like that. First matrix is of dimension two into three, and second is three into two or three into three. Then addition is not possible. Right? Both should be of same dimension. Right? So obviously the resultant matrix would also be of that dimension, like two into three. So that is also two into three. I hope you got what I want. Right? So first of all we read two matrices, then we add and then we print the sum. So I hope uh, you are clear with how to read matrix because we have discussed in previous uh, video also how to read the two matrices. So no need to I guess write down that code or should I write? Let me write. Here I am declaring how many matrix matrix you need three, two and one is to store the sum. So I am taking A, then B. And C. And if the dimension you are taking two into three, and second matrix is also two into three, and the sum would be also matrix would be also of dimension two into three, and two variable i and j, right? So now first of all we are reading the first matrix. I hope you are clear with the syntax because we have discussed this many times. J should be less than three and j plus plus. Right, and scan if percentage d address of a of i j. This is how you read the first matrix. Now for second matrix, simply you write down the same thing, right? But rather than this a, you will write down address of b of i j, right? So this this for loop. This will read second matrix. Now we will add these two matrices and print the sum, as well as we will print the sum. So obviously we have to access those two matrix first of all, right? Element by element to sum the elements. Suppose first matrix is this one of size two into three, two into three, and having element one, two minus one, zero, five, four. Second matrix is having suppose element uh, 0, 10, 11, 5, right? Or maybe here you can take uh, 7. So this is A, this is B. Now we have to sum these two matrices. So this is what the logic. Obviously, we have to access these elements, right? So, outer for loop, one for loop for for reading the rows, and then this one is in each row we are having three columns. So, this one is to read the values, to read the columns, actual values, right? So now, how to do sum? See, and we will store that sum into C, right? We will take this element, row one, 0, 1, 0, 1, 2, index 0, 1, 0, 1, 2. Right? This is row, this is column. This is row, this is column. So, 0, 0, this element would be added to which element? 0, 0, the same position. Right? The element would be at same position. So, these two would be added and where to store? 5 plus 1, 6. Here, this is C matrix. And row 0, 1, 0, 1, 2, index. So the same position at 0, 0 only in the sum matrix we are going to store the sum, right? So now how to add A of ij plus 
B of IJ. Right? We are going to access elements from both the matrix. We are going to add and then we will store into C matrix. C of I and J at same position. Right? If this is we are accessing then sum could be at same position. If we are accessing this element like 1, 1 then that would be added to this element here also in uh, that row is 1, column is 1 and that sum would be stored here only. 11 plus 5 is 16 at which position 1 and 1 position. Right? So, this is how we can store the sum and within this also uh, while doing the sum we are going to print at the same time. Right? So, I am just writing percentage D and C IJ. Now, we are printing this matrix, resultant matrix C of IJ. Right? And if you want the output in matrix form, obviously you won't, then what you have to do? Here you can write slash T. Right? And after this inner for loop, in this outer one, you write down one more line that is printf slash n. And that's it. So now let us try run this program here. I'm not going to dry run this and this because it is just for reading purpose and that we have discussed many times. Right. So we have read two matrices now this working. Here we are calculating sum and we are printing the sum. Right. So we have one variable i, one is j. See i is equal to 0. I less than 2, yes condition true, enter into this loop. Now again 4 would be initial, uh, sorry j would be initialized here 0. Condition true, 0 less than 3, yes enter into this loop. Now here what will happen, see. A of i j, i j 0 0, 0 0 means what we are accessing A of 0 0, A of 0 0 means this element 1 plus B of 0 0, this element 5. That is 6 and 6 would be stored where C of i j. I, J, I means I, B, I 0 and 1, uh, sorry, J is also 0 here. So, that will be stored at C of 0, 0. So, that is suppose a matrix C, 2 into 3. So, here we have 0, 0, this position 0, 1 index is 0, 1 into. So, that would be stored here, that is 6 would be stored here. And after that, it would be printed, print F percentage D, C of I, J. 0, 0. C of 0, 0 is 6. 6 would be printed on the screen. So, this is how like 6 would be printed on the screen. Right? Now, J plus plus. Now, J becomes 1. Condition true. Yes, enter here. Now, A of 0, 1 because it is J is 1. B of 0, 1 and that would be stored at C of 0, 1 because I is still 0 but J is 1. So, 0, 1 means 0, 1. This element would be accessed to plus this is minus 1. So, addition would be what? 1. So, 1 would be stored here. Right? In C of 0, 1. And then it would be printed like percentage D. Suppose this here I am printing. Uh, where I? Here I am printing. The output I am going to show here. I hope it is visible to you. So, first is 6 would be printed. Now, slash T tab C of 0, 1 would be printed. C of 0, 1. At C of 0, 1 we have 1. So, 1 would be printed here. Right? Now, J plus plus. J becomes now 2. Condition still true. Enter. Now, what would be accessed? 0, 2. 0, 2. And that would be stored at position 0, 2. 0, 2 means this minus 1. 0, 2 means this 0. So, addition is minus 1. So, minus 1 would be stored at C of 0, 2 position. Now, we are accessing element from C of 0, 2. C of 0, 2. We have what? C of 0, row is 0 and column index is 2. Minus 1 would be accessed and that would be printed here. Right? Now, J plus plus again. J becomes now 3. Now, see. 3 less than 3? No. Condition is not true. So, we are not going to enter into this loop. Whatever the, con uh, the line you have written after this loop, that would be printed. So, after this inner loop, we have just written slash n. Slash n means cursor would be next line now. So, that is exactly you want this kind of output. Right? Now, i plus plus. Now, i becomes 1. 1 less than 2. Yes, condition true. Again, enter here and j would be again initialized with 0. 0 less than 3. Yes, condition true. We will enter here. But now, we are accessing what? See, i value is 1 
and at this time j value is 0. So, i value is 1, j value is 0. So, here also i value is 1, j value is 0. 1, 0, a of 1, 0, a of 1, 0, 0. So, 0 plus b of 1, 0, b of 1, 0, this element 10. That is 10. So, 10 would be stored at c of 1, 0. c is this matrix, c of 1, 0 means this position. So, 10 would be stored here. And after that we are accessing what? 1, 0, c of 1, 0. c of 1, 0 is 10. So, 10 would be printed here. Now again j plus plus j becomes 1 and this would be again repeated. Right? So, for second row also, now what would be the sum here? 11 plus 5, 16, 16 would be printed at the same time. Now, 7 plus 4 is what? 11, that would be printed here. Right? And that's it, that's exactly what we want. When i value now next time becomes 2, but 2 not less than 2, condition is not true, so we are not going to enter into this loop. Now, exit from the loop. Right? So, this is how you are going to do some of these matrices and you will print. Right? I hope you got it. Now, let me show you practically. So, now let me create one more file for you here. Addition matrix dot c. Right. First of all, header file you will write main function you have to try it with my you with me right so uh, what we are taking two matrix sorry three matrix we have to take a b and c and two variables i and j for four loops right now I want to print first of all enter first matrix and we will enter how using four loops. I hope the syntax is clear because we have discussed this syntax many times how to read a matrix right. So, I am reading first matrix that is A. Now, I want to read second matrix. So, I am just copying this code and copy and paste right. So, where here only and obviously this line also because at first first of all I want it should be printed like uh, uh, enter second matrix. So, enter not first, I am going to change it second matrix, right. And uh, now this is for loop, but here what you have to do in scanf, what you have to write address of B of ij, right. And now what first I want to print first matrix, then second matrix, and then we will print the sum and we will add the sum, right. So, I am just copying this code again, control V and print F. Now, I want to show first matrix, right. So, the first matrix is whatever the matrix you have entered that should be shown on the screen, right, in matrix form because of that, uh, no, uh, then only you will get the output correctly. So, for showing the matrix what for loop would be same, but rather than scanf we will use printf and here we will change like at uh, not address it is a of ij and and I want that in matrix form that should be shown in matrix form. So, we have to do some formatting also like slash t and after this printf slash n right. Now, I am just going to copy this code again because I want to print second matrix also, right. So, here I will copy this code. 
So, the sec uh, here I am going to change this SCCO and D. Second matrix is and just print F B of I J. Okay. We have read two matrix, we have just printed two matrix. Now, the actual uh, <laughs> working is to be done that is left like we have to add these matrix, right. So, obviously there also we use two for loops. So, just copy these loops here. Condition would be same, but here rather than print F, I am just going to delete this line. Now, the logic to add matrix C of i j equal to A of i j plus B of i j. And after addition, here only I will print percentage D slash T and C of I J. I am going to print here only within the slope only, right. So, it will add also and it will print and slash and we have already written. So, I guess that is it. Just before this for loop, we will write one more line print f slash n. The third matrix is or the sum matrix is you can just print that matrix, right semicolon here, right. So, I guess it will print the third matrix like the sum matrix. Now, let me just run this program and I hope it will work. It should ask first of all enter two matrix. So, see enter first matrix first. So, I am just entering all the elements 1 1 1, second matrix also 1 1 1 and see the first matrix is this 1 1, second matrix is also 1 1 and third matrix obviously should be 2 2 2 addition of these two. So, the logic is correct. Now, you can enter any value minus value, 0 value or any value right. So, I hope you got how to do addition. Now, you have to do what? Subtraction of two matrices. So, that is assignment for you. So, I hope you got this program and the next assignment for you is you have to uh, subtract two matrices. Addition I have done, you have to do minus of two matrices right. Now, we will see in the next video what multiplication of two matrix. So, now I will see in the next video till then bye take care.